You're, you're going to want to see this Joe Biden clip. Holy crap. You're not going to believe what Biden just did with a group of auto workers in Michigan. He's campaigning in Michigan today on this big Tuesday. Now, you say whatever you want about Donald Trump. I don't know that I've ever seen him tell a voter in his face, you're full of S. And Biden doesn't say S. Holy Moses, you're not going to believe this. This is going to go viral, so get ready. It's going to be a big story. And honest to goodness, I, when you see this video, and again, I, I urge you to go to our, find our YouTube channel, subscribe. It's the Mike Gallagher Show. You can go to MikeOnline.com. You can click Watch Mike on TV. There's a variety of ways you can see these clips that we play on the radio show as you're listening on this great radio station. It's a scary scene because of Biden losing it. I mean, everybody's around him yelling, and he looks more and more confused. He's filled with rage. His face contorts. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not making fun of him. I'm really, really alarmed by his his mental capacity here. This guy's running for president. You got a guy in a hard hat with a group of, of auto workers who's challenging you about, your se about what you want to do to the Second Amendment, and you tell him you're full of S? You're full of crap. He doesn't say the word crap. And 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 brace yourself. Biden acts like he in, in his arguing with this auto worker moments ago. He's trying to tell the auto worker how good he is on guns. And he says something about not taking away your AR-14. Oh, okay. You go ahead and take away the AR-14s all you want, Joe. Holy moly. Incidentally, uh, let me get this right, because Boy, we can mess up. A, we can get lost in a one-car funeral over here at Team Gallagher once in a while. Gavin Newsom is related to Nancy Pelosi in the following way. He's not her brother-in-law. He's not her nephew. It shows me I shouldn't read the text messages that come in. Or listen to Derek. His, his aunt married her brother-in-law. Now, I don't know what that makes him. I don't think that's a nephew. They're just, like, distantly related. Gavin Newsom's aunt married Pelosi's brother-in-law. Okay, you got it? Man, have I got some audio clips to share with you right now. So check all this out right now. Go to the YouTube channel, Mike Gallagher Show, or go to MikeOnline.com. Click Watch Mike on TV. First of all, I want to compare the distantly related Nancy Pelosi to Gavin Newsom. Listen to Pelosi, cut number five. She's given some speech yesterday. Here's what she said about Trump and civilization itself. This election is a very important election. In my view, civilization as we know it at, at, is at stake. Civilization as we know it is at stake. Now, let's go to the governor, the liberal Democrat governor of California, her relative, by way of the fact that his aunt <laughs> married her brother-in-law, but still, it's pretty profound because they haven't played this anywhere. You don't, you didn't see this on ABC, CBS, NBC, probably. They certainly didn't lead with it at CNN or MSNBC. Guess what? Guess what? L the the president is responding perfectly to coronavirus, doing everything that they can and fulfilling every promise to do the right thing by the American people. Oh, don't take my word for it. Here's cut 12. Take the liberal Democrat governor of California's word for it, Gavin Newsom. Yeah, we had a, we had a private conversation, but he said we're going to do the right thing, and you have my support, uh, all of our support, uh, logistically and otherwise. So I, before he made those statements publicly, I had a private conversation with him around 4.30 uh, West Coast time, uh, and he said everything uh, that I could have hoped for. Uh, and we had a very long conversation. Uh, and every single thing he said, they followed through on. So I'm, I'm just not interested in, in finding daylight uh, on those statements because uh, every single thing, his administration, and it starts at the top, uh, including the vice president, uh, has been consistent with uh, the expectation that we repatriate these passengers and we do it in a way that does justice to the spirit that defines the best of our country and the state of California. So now the mayor of Sterling Heights may be a Trump hater, 
But apparently the governor of California wouldn't agree, at least not on the subject of coronavirus. And the reason you haven't heard this in the mainstream media is those words are like are like holy water on a vampire. They, they don't want to hear a liberal Democrat give any credit to this administration. There's Gavin Newsom praising Trump, praising Pence, praising the federal government's response to coronavirus, praising the way they're dealing with this very complicated situation. Can you imagine thousands of people on a cruise ship and you got a number of people that have the coronavirus on the ship? What do you do? Where do you dock? There's the governor of California not saying one negative thing about Trump. Now, he'll, don't worry, he'll probably, you know, within a day or two, he'll say, I lost my mind. I was having a stroke when I, I've got the creases in my ear. <laughs> that guy doesn't have any creases in his ear. I wish I, I looked like that guy does. But fit, you know, perfectly put together, perf, you know, perfectly coiffed hair and designer suit. And there he is standing. I'm the one going to slump over here any second. Say a little prayer. That's Gavin Newsom. Now, in the state of Michigan today, Joe Biden is on the campaign trail along with Bernie Sanders. You got to hear this. You got to hear this. Now, it's a little bit hard to hear, but if you watch the video, as you're, as you, if you're watching the video stream, Joe Biden loses it on an auto worker who simply wants to know what you're doing with the Second Amendment. Okay, what what because you've said that you're going to take away guns, Biden flips out, curses out this voter and p continues to berate him with everybody yelling, this is like the 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 Simpson thing, old the headline old man shakes fist at cloud. Check this out. Brace yourself. Here's Joe Biden today on the campaign trail. I've got earbuds in the studio, obviously. He told the voter, you're full of crap. He didn't use the word crap. He said, I did not say that. I'm not taking away your AR. You could have your AR-14, Mr. Gun Expert. Your AR-14s. Great. I did not say that. He's, and the handler, listen to all the comments coming in. Matilda, oh, no, I thought at first, surely this is clickbait, and he was just joking around. He wasn't. This poor man has dementia, and his handlers should be ashamed. Another comment, wow, Biden is so disrespectful and dismissive, getting into the man's personal space, disagreeing with him on everything, you better only do it from across the street. Another comment, look at his face all screwed up in rage. Good God, irritability is another sign of, well, you know, the thing. Uh, maybe he meant an M14. Nah, he didn't. Joe Dementia. Uh, another comment, he really needs to stop. Someone should step in and help this guy. Another comment, way to win over the blue-collar workers and the blue-collar voters. Yeah, there's nothing nothing like telling a voter you're full of crap to win them over, right, Joe? Wow. He's a mess. This guy's a mess. And they're all yelling at him. He got them all to yell at them. What was interesting is the handler standing back there. There's a woman behind him saying, thank you. Thank you for your question. Thank you. That poor girl is trying to help him. She doesn't know what to do. Now, you wait. They're going to have to limit Biden's exposure like this one-on-one. -on -one. They cannot possibly keep putting him in this position. He's going to be the front runner unless somehow today these states go Bernie's way. It's Joe Biden. I don't know that Bernie's going to be able to catch up. And it is unreal. And I get it. That, that audio is hard to hear. 
but you, I want you to make sure you know what was said. The guy is challenging Biden on the Second Amendment. You're full of blank. That's what Biden says to the voter. I'm not trying to take away your AR-14s. I never said that. And they're like, and he's in his head, the video clip, man, oh, man. Play the Just play the B-roll of it, Pabs, as I'm talking for people who are still watching on the stream. He's looking back and forth like he's real confused. I, I mean, this is getting bad. And believe me, you can you can sit around like the the dopey mayor of Sterling Heights and claim that you don't like Trump because you think he's he's nuts. He doesn't lose it like that with a voter. He's not going to go one on one and tell a voter you're full of blank like that. You think Biden's trying to be like Trump? What could be happening here? 